and, and, and if been, it does, yeah. I've been updating mm -hmm. yeah. um, the the Imaginarium side of the Figma, and so now it's no longer really a puzzle. It's more like um, like a carnival that's connected to like what's going on, at least from my perspective. <laughs> Um, and then like to fill out the branches of like this like connected web that's like forming. Uh, what we also did was the creation template. Okay, so I looked at it. <laughs> Number one, I put it together. And then uh, I shared it. Um, so it has done its job, but uh, you know, uh, uh, Zargam tried to go through it. He, he politely added a question. <laughs> then I tried to use it, and actually, it sucks. <laughs> so, and I would love that you know, candid feedback, so we can move forward. And also, like uh, I'm sure others who have used it or tried to use it have feedback too. Like, if we don't get feedback, what are we improving upon, right? So, but let me share my feedback and I would love to hear more. And then I'm definitely keen on hearing actually, like what we want is, uh, so this is, if you remember, this is the first co-creation uh, session that we did. And this is what came out that the, why we do this library and why it's going to be different or why it is really needed is uh, because of the collective creations or the creations in transdisciplinarity. Everyone said we want this to be novel. That's the only reason we're going to use it. And the artist said, hey, <laughs> you know, we love novelty. That's what we're here for. Uh, and we said it is all about connections. Like that was something, for example, Nick, uh, that is very important to you that uh, this library should really build connections, uh, especially for newcomers, that they're not lost. They get to find their ways into this very complex area of token engineering and crypto economics. They get to connect to people. So all of this connection, we said, okay, guides, um, but then literally like, who is going to be the guide? Like who is the guide of crypto economics? Uh, right, so literally, we even need to onboard the guides, uh, those who might be able to, you know, to provide mentorship or what have you. Literally, are people who have a uh, waiting line of mentors trying to get get uh, some time with them, and and there are also people literally. The projects that they say no to is uh, uh, amazing because and and uh, it really breaks their heart but that's uh, how life is so here uh, again uh, if we could really innovate around how we could build connection at the very least through the creation that those people provide that will be most valuable um, that would be fantastic and then also during the creation could those people actually who uh, provide creation get also something from the process itself? Because again, uh, that's what intrinsic motivation or reward is. You do something and the pure act of doing it provides you with the reward. Yeah, and that's like I think we were lucky that is expressly what you said. And I feel right now the library, like the NFT uh the discovery game, it's like the entry point. So I think this yeah. was like we, we were talking all like two weeks ago and having this self discovery game as the entry point and we have the archetypes. So you come here and you have, uh, I think just two weeks ago, we uh, talk about having like this little guide and this is the guide you enter to this kind of creation and you just discover your archetype or you know you are uh, playing, just to say playing, but you are in this kind of archetype game. So as soon as you come in here and you start creating with your archetype or with the creations you're doing, you start uh, receiving incentives or rewards. So we start minting this kind of, yes, mm -hmm. uh, chapters or transmedia library. So we developed like the creation is inside this uh, archetype game or framework. Mm -hmm. I think that's the incentive to come here just to s discover these connections in this new uh, transdisciplinary way. Mm -hmm. So I have no clear um, controls. And I have no clear understanding yet, but I I I I can very well 
uh, envision and imagine how it could work out. Omega is Omega. Uh, if you wanted to actually get uh, user stories and like what it is, how could that game be like, really focusing on token and dream conscience library will make our lives easier. I want to do it in a way that it won't constrain uh, the, the creativity too much at all, uh, but actually hopefully it will be an enabling constraint in a sense like if I would uh, ask you to, you know, uh, let's uh, work this really out, um, the self-discovery game within the, just within the library forget tech uh, forget omega for a second there is this library that we, we committed to build and the creators uh, we ask them uh, give our give, give our your um, best creations and uh, as mentioned like this this uh, template uh, is too wordy too too wordy uh, like the Creation profile number one. It asks from me like, "Who are you?" And I'm like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> uh, but for example, what if I did the curation first? Actually, just really share, uh, and then this game motivates me to share more and more because it actually then uh, gives me feedback of, for example, where, where I stand or. I don't know if the archetypes will be uh, coming out as something interesting, but what could I add in my curation that the self-discovery game could actually play with and, and give back to me as a curator? And that information that, you know, synthesized or, or extracted information about the curation and the curator is actually something that the visitors or the learners can use to find their ways through this. Am I making sense? Yeah, and I think this is like uh, what, I, uh, what I was thinking too is and for more of like the user experience of like pulling them into like the mm -hmm. other other side of participating in the library. <laughs> so like like mm -hmm. you, like even though I was just thinking about like the random person that like uh, kind of finds their way to the library and be like, what the heck is this? And they start you know interacting with it and then they're like, okay, what is this? And then they they find their way into like the flower, but like the next thing they're knowing, they're they're joining you know, one of these random meetings and be like, oh, okay, I could, like, probably participate in this library. I could, like, help make the connections or, like, mm. this is why it was meaningful mm. for me to, like, read this one article of that I read in the library. And this is why I kind of want to, like, participate in this, this game of... Because I think later, what you're talking about, it becomes this, like, meaningful um, dance of, like, okay the the curator put this in there but like some of us who are like working on like the art or or designing the game or it's like oh this connects to something later that i that we were talking about in group or like we're we're thinking on our own just kind of like what i said about the weird um aztec of sacred narrative and how like it oddly fit um the french philosopher but anyways like as we go along that's part of the the game of which we we have the nft uh of actually my friend here within the the vacuum is the one who did the artwork of, of from my notebook and this is like the we haven't even really talked uh directly like peer-to-peer -peer. uh we've just been communicating you know via uh, minds and and actually minds cool. for like a long time but can you share yeah. can you share like well, how what how what was the notebook and what uh, visualization could you do from that yeah if you if you feel, feel comfortable within the vacuum but hey uh, within the vacuum ah okay okay sorry welcome welcome say hello i didn't see it <laughs> yeah i i know for my end i i shared two things from my notebook of what i've been like 
writing about from from group and one was sunflower sutra which is like a beginning of this poem that i write later and then the other one was in the valley of novelty which is like the beginning of this game okay hey what's up within the back okay hey hello <laughs> everything good yeah yeah it's nice to be here i, I i'm not very uh, like familiar with this kind of <laughs> Honestly, it's my first time on the Discord meeting. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'm I'm a musician actually. Uh, I'm in I'm working in music since nine. Well, it, it took me. Well, it's a it's a journey, and it took me for many many uh, paths and and different. Uh, scenarios for creation and and well this this kind of uh, art is it's it's actually a game right it, I'm just applying the same the same patterns I can see in nature you know I'm from mm -hmm. Costa Rica so mm -hmm. I have nature very very close everywhere so <laughs> What I do is just you know, to get into this mode of contemplation and and mm. see what is going on there, and that's what I am applying to this kind of art or this kind of experiment. I don't know what it is actually. So yeah, I started this this project. I I ask people you know, on minds if they want want to join. Uh, the the experiments so they can. But I, I like to just add that was um, kind of random too because I di I didn't really mention that I had the meeting but I said hey you should join us on, on Discord when you got a, got time in the last <laughs> communication so that was cool that he stopped by. Yeah, I want to say like it's super super nice we have this transdisciplinary like really getting here people from all walks of life and we have like now musicians artists so it's like a real example of being transdisciplinary i love it and also i'm also missing it like uh the 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 ease with which uh within the vacuum comes and i was like hey i'm doing this experiment i'm inspired by nature and you don't know where it's going like that research <laughs> it's kind of uh, what i've been missing so much so uh, that's why I'm i listen to the music part not to the research part but i think it's <laughs> i know but i'm like okay <laughs> now we're gonna have a soundtrack <laughs> to, to our research so but within the vacuum we don't hear you maybe you have to reconnect <laughs> 